just going to the coal fires is like I'm pretty happy with that. Um, but it'd be really nice to make it. I'd probably like cry and just like <laughs> I don't know. I'd be I wouldn't even believe it. Like I'd probably just like hug you and Antonio like forever and like I don't know. It'd be it'd be awesome. Um, like there's a part of me that really wants to make the top three because it's the best chance for women's foil because there's no teams and there are three spots this year instead of one. But at the same time, I think that even if I don't make the top three, it's good experience for the next time, like the next Olympic qualifiers, where I'll be older and more experienced. I think there are like a few things that like Fencing has stopped me from doing like you know general hobbies or other activities, sports I want to do. But um, in the end, it's like it's worth it because you have to train hard to achieve results. Yeah, I, don't, I barely see my friends outside of school, and that's it's a bit annoying. But like I guess you know fencing's pretty important. <laughs> well, the full worlds because. I was sick for two months so I hadn't been training. Um, I really wasn't expecting anything. Kind of like really calm and yeah. But like in general when I go overseas and do comps I'm like really nervous and I, I get, <laughs> I, I don't know, I just get really nervous and can't fence properly. The pressure did change because my parents obviously have high expectations of me even though I'm young. It's just because they want me to do the best I can. Um, and just like take every opportunity kind of thing. Um, but yeah, not, not, none of my like training structures changed or anything. Um, sometimes it is frustrating because I, if I train in New South Wales, I'm fencing the same people every week. And in Queensland, it's fencing the same people, you know, four times a week. I don't get to fence with the, the Victorians like Emily um, or even Georgie from South Australia um, as often as the others and um, it's like, a, yeah, it's annoying. Because so many of the team members change all the time, um, I think, I don't really know what to expect for 2020 because that's quite a long time but um, it would be really nice to just have like consistent team members and you know like train together if we can and go to comps together, World Cups, World Champs and things like that. I think we could do well as a team and we'll, we'll, we'll women's foil and maybe make the Olympics together. That'd be nice. <laughs>